Hi, so welcome to this special session. So now we are going to discuss this beautiful set here. And I'm sure already you have seen this set and tried to solve also. And I'm sure many of you must have already solved it as well. But still, if you haven't solved it earlier, you still have got time. I'm just getting aside. Entire information is given on this one slide. And there are five questions in the further following slides that we'll see afterwards. So on a reverse count of five, you can pause your video or take a screenshot, but try to answer it fast, right? Your time starts now. Okay, I'm back. So let's read it together. It says three individuals, Akbar, Birbal, Chaman. So let's call them ABC, right? <laughs> so each possess coins of three denominations, probably one, two, and five. Okay, so there are three persons and they are having coins of different denominations and that is mentioned as one, two, and five. Fine. Now every person has at least one coin of each denomination. Right? Now, the total amounts they hold are as follows. So, Akbar has 20, that is A has 20 uh, rupees, that is total rupees. And same way, B has total 24 rupees and C has 10 rupees in total. Fine. So, however, when asked about the number of coins, each of them uh, made two statements. And for each person, exactly one statement is true, another is false. Fine. So, these are statements also mentioned and based on that, the other questions. So, it is a combination of two things, right? We need to make a table, we need to arrange the things, the number of coins each person is having of each kind. And also we are having this statement, so just like your uh, binary logic series, right, true and false type of questions. So truth tellers and liars we are having. So every person has made exactly one statement uh, true, as other statement is false. That we need to identify and based on that, we need to fill our table. Okay, so before reading these points, let's make our table first. So So we are having three persons, let me write, so A, B and C. And we are having three kind of denominations. So that is uh, number of coins of uh, uh, denomination rupee one. We are writing here number of coins, right? This number of coins we'll be writing in these boxes below. So that is of rupee one denomination, rupee two, yes, one, two, and five. So after two, it is going to be rupee five. Fine. So finally, how many coins they would be having uh, that we can write here, that total number of coins. And also the total values is given in rupees. Let me write that as well. So A has rupees 20. Let me write here. So A is having rupee 20. And B is having total 44. Uh, sorry, 24. So B has total 24. And C has got rupee 10. Fine. So that is the total amount they are having. And we already know, uh, we already know this thing that uh, each person has at least one coin of each denomination. I think we can figure out for C at least, right? Without seeing these points. Can you figure out for C? C, C, <laughs> C, C. So we know that that uh, every person has got uh, the coin of each denomination at least once, right? At least one coin of each denomination. At least one coin of each denomination is possessed by every person, right? So matlab, if I'm talking about C, I've not seen the any statements yet, but uh, the C must be having certainly one, one, one coin of each uh, each part. So ek, ek, ek to hai hi, iske paas ek, ek, ek. And that makes it 5 and 2, 7 and 1, 8 rupees. So, ho gaye. But you have 2 rupees. Now, there are two possibilities. So, 2 rupees or kaha se aayenge? Ya to ye 2 wala ek coin or ho jaye. That makes it uh, 1 plus 1. Or ya fri ek wale 2 or a jaye. That is 3. That means uh, ya to isko 2 bana de. Right? That will satisfy. You can check out. So, 5 plus 2 into 2, 4. 5 plus 4, 9 and 1, 10. That is one possible case. Or it could be. Uh, in place of making this two, this it will become three. So that makes it three, one, and one, right? So three, one rupee coin, that makes it three rupees. And one coin of two rupees, that is uh, two rupees. So three and two, five rupees. And one coin of five rupees, that makes it five. So these are two possible combinations for uh, this person C, right? So we have just checked this part. Anyhow, let's let's look, have a look at the statements as well. Let's look have a look at the statements. So first, Akbar says, I have a total of six coins. So we know about Akbar that Akbar is having total 20 rupees uh, by all these coins of these different denominations. And comes to come 8 rupees to hai hi every uh, denomination he is having at least one coin to 8 to se aage. So maybe, maybe it could be possible. But second statement says, I have four coins of rupee five denomination. Achha, four coins of five rupees. Can you tell me what is the total amount? Four times five, that would be total 60, isn't it? Or sorry, 20, four times five, that will be total 20. And that is the total amount A is having, right? That is the total amount A is having. 
but we already knew that every person has got at least one coin of each denomination. So, agar iske paas char coins panch rupee wale ho jayenge, that means they have to be zero, which is invalid. It confirms it confirms that the second statement by Akbar is certainly false. This is false statement, and this first statement must be true. Where Akbar says, "I have total six coins." I hope that point is very clear. Fine. So let's check out it now. So I have total of six coins. So six coins are Bhai Sahab ke paas, or six coins se ab kaise kaise we can make it total twenty? That's uh, the thing we need to see. Let's check out. So again, as I uh, we were discussing earlier about C, let's talk about A now. So now we have extra information that A A is certainly having six coins. So let me write here. A is certainly having six coins, right? A is certainly having six coins. इसको बंदी कर लेते हैं ना? That's the total amount they are having. So that is the total amount of coins. A is having six coins. अब six coins में सब एक-एक coin तो हैं ही. So one rupee, two rupee, five rupee. So eight rupees already there. I want twelve more rupees, right? I want twelve more rupees from three coins, right? I want twelve more rupees from three coins. So three coins must give me twelve rupees. Okay. See what combination it could be. थ्री कॉइन्स में क्या पांच पांच रुपए वाले दो कॉइन्स ले सकता हूं यस मैक्सिमम दो ले सकता हूं तो पांच वाले दो कॉइन्स ले लिए लेट मी राइट हेयर ओनली पांच पांच वाले दो और ले लिए तो दैट मेक्स इट टेन रुपीज एंड आई एम लेफ्ट टू रुपीज टू रुपीज कैसे बनेगा अभी तो टू रुपीज कुड बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम वन कॉइन नाउ राइट आई एम लेफ्ट वन कॉइन टोटल थ्री कॉइन्स वेदर तो टू रुपी वन कॉइन से तो टू रुपी वाला ही लेना पड़ेगा ना तो दिस इज वन पॉसिबल केस एंड दिस इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी वी कैन सी ओके लेट्स चेक आउट समर थिंग इज पॉसिबल So in place of two coins of five rupees out of these three, if I take only one coin of five rupee, अगर मैंने एक ही coin लिया five rupee वाला, so I'm left with two more coins and the amount left is seven rupees. क्या दो coins में seven rupees बन सकते हैं without taking a five coin? Of course, not possible. So this is the only case possible that's confirmed. So it may it means that A is having one coin of one rupee denomination and two coins of two rupee denomination and total three coins of this case was not possible. Three coins of three rupee denomination, a uh, five rupee denomination. So let's confirm once again. Fifteen plus four, nineteen, and one twenty. So total twenty rupees, and total three plus two plus one. That is six coins. I hope it is very clear. Fine. So using this information that I have total six coins, which is a true statement. So we got the exact number of coins with Akbar. Okay. So let me erase this part. That is not required. Uh, so we can use the same place for other calculations. Right. Okay, so let's move to the next persons and see what we can infer. Uh, shall I come to C? Yes, let's come to C first. Uh, we talked about C these two particular cases, and C is saying in the second statement it says Akbar has exactly one rupee one coin. Akbar ke paas ek rupee wala ek coin hai. C is saying about Akbar, right? Chaman is saying about Akbar, and that's a true statement, right? So this is certainly true. Very nice. We have already figured it out. so this is true statement that means the second statement must be false right this this first statement basically first statement made by chaman this other statement this must be certainly false and what does he say here so chaman says the number of rupee one coins i have so chaman apne bare mein bol raha hai ki mere paas jitne 1 rupaye wale coins hain we have seen there two possible cases right so is equal to the number of rupee one coins akbar has अकबर के पास तो एक ही है तो ये बोल रहा है कि मेरे पास भी एक ही है राइट तो इज सेइंग आई एम हैविंग द सेम नंबर ऑफ 1 रुपी कॉइन एज विद अकबर व्हिच इज 1 सो दैट मींस ही सेइंग आई आल्सो हैव 1 1 रुपी कॉइन राइट बट वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट मस्ट बी फॉल्स बिकॉज़ आउट ऑफ द टू स्टेटमेंट्स ओनली वन इज ट्रू राइट वन इज ट्रू एंड अदर इज फॉल्स सो दिस वन इज ट्रू दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी आइडेंटिफाइड दिस मस्ट बी फॉल्स इट मींस चमन कैन नॉट हैव द सी कैन नॉट हैव 1 1 रुपी कॉइन So it must be the other case. This is first case is invalid. Second case is certainly true. Let's put the values quickly. This is certainly three one one. So total number of coins we have counted is five. And rupee already we have confirmed. Let's check once again. So three rupees and three plus two five rupees and five ten rupees. That's confirmed. Okay. So Shaman is also done. So we are left with B now. B one. So let me erase this part as well. That's also we have filled exactly. Moving to the remaining person, that is Birbal. Now Birbal says, "I have more than ten coins of rupee two denomination." Okay, so I don't know total how many coins he has, but but total twenty four rupees. That was the thing. Okay, let's see. When he says, "I have more than ten coins of two rupee denomination," is that possible even? No, because if I say more than ten, so that means at least eleven will be there, right? वन टू फाइव अगर ये टू वाले टेन से ज्यादा हैं तो कम से कम ग्यारह कॉइन्स तो होंगे दैट मेक्स द टोटल टू बी ट्वेंटी टू रुपीज 
बट टोटल अमाउंट ट्वेंटी फोर एफ फाइव रुपी वाला कहा जाएगा भाई वी न्यू दैट That every person has at least one coin of each denomination. So it confirms so this statement, uh, this first statement by Bible that I have more than ten coins of rupee two denomination cannot be true. This is certainly false. Let's negate that. So certainly this other statement is true, where he says I have four coins of rupee five denomination, and that can be put directly, right? I have four coins of rupee five denomination. So five rupee wale four coins are there. Okay, so five fours are twenty. So twenty rupees to pure ho gaye. I'm left with four uh, rupees only, and I know that ki dono ko use karna hai, right? Both uh, denominations must be used. So I cannot take, uh, I cannot make four rupees because of a rupee two coins only, uh, because this also need to be taken. So this can't be two. This has to be one coin only. And now four into five twenty, twenty into twenty two, and now two rupees from here I want. So two coins of rupee one denomination. Fine. So let's verify once again. So two times one, that is two rupees. One times two, that is again two rupees. Two and two, four rupees. And this is twenty. So twenty and four, that makes it total twenty-four. Perfectly fine. And total number of coins we can count four and two, six and one, seven. There are seven coins possessed by this person, Birbal. Fine. So this was a simple case, isn't it? There was not multiple cases, and all the cases we were able to negate very, very easily. Let's move to the questions now. There are five questions as I already mentioned. Let's answer them quickly. Okay, so here is the first question: How many rupee two coins does person Akbar has? Oga, bhai. <laughs> anyway, so Akbar ke paas kitne coins hain? Has oga hai wo? Has hi aega? Have to aega? Anyway, so Akbar ke paas two rupee wale kitne coins hain? Akbar ke paas two rupee wale. It is exactly two, right? So it is two. So option B, that is two. It must be the right answer. Second question: If B and C interchange their five rupee coin. ओके अगर आपस में बदल ले हूं बी एंड सी व्हाट विल बी द टोटल अमाउंट इन रुपीस विद सी आफ्टर द एक्सचेंज ओके तो सी का टोटल अमाउंट हमें बताना है आफ्टर दिस एक्सचेंज एंड व्हाट इज एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज इज द नंबर ऑफ कॉइंस ऑफ रुपी 5 राइट इफ पर बीबल एंड चमन इंटरचेंज देयर रुपी 5 कॉइंस व्हाट विल बी द टोटल अमाउंट विद सी आफ्टर एक्सचेंज लेट्स चेक आउट सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बी एंड सी एंड वी वांट देम टू एक्सचेंज देयर फाइव रुपी कॉइंस सो दैट मींस Finally, I want that B must C must be having three one rupee coin, uh, one two rupee coin. But in uh, five rupee coins, in place of one, it, he must be having four coins because it is being exchanged with Birbal, right? So we need to count this total amount. So four times five that makes it twenty rupees, and one times two that is two rupees, and this is uh, three times one that is three rupees. That makes it C plus two five and five and twenty is twenty five. So twenty five would be the answer for this next question. Let's answer this. So this is first and second question. Yes, answer would be twenty-five. Option D. So two questions gone. Third one. It says if Birbal gives minimum number of coins to Chaman, if Birbal gives minimum number of coins to Chaman, so that the total amount with Akbar and Chaman becomes equal. Ah, let's read it carefully. We want Akbar and Chaman their amounts to be equal, uh, which is not equal right now. So, so to that be equal, what we want? We want be able to give minimum number of coins. Minimum number of coins. See, Akbar and Chaman have fixed amounts, right? To make them equal, what amount must be given to Chaman is fixed, right? But we want to finish it in minimum number of coins. Okay. The question is, what will be the new total of number of coins with Chaman? Okay. Okay. I hope the question is very clear. So, Akbar and Chaman ke pas. Let's see what the amount they are having. I think twenty and ten, right? Yes, twenty and ten. Akbar and Chaman right now they are having twenty and ten. It means if I want their amounts to be equal, so how much rupees Birbal must give to Chaman? Ten rupees, right? So ten rupees are to be shifted here. Ten rupees are to be shifted here so that their amounts can be equal. But this is to be done with the minimum number of coins. So minimum number of coins, ten rupees. How will it be made? Five rupees worth of two coins, right? So two five rupee coins. So that can be exchanged. So two coins of five rupee denomination can be exchanged. That was the minimum case. Now, when these two coins are added here, so total number of coins with Chaman afterwards, right? So that is five was already there, and five plus two that should be seven, isn't it? So let's verify the question once again. I hope it is very clear. So we are here. So first, second, and third question. So Birbal gives minimum number of coins. So Birbal is giving two coins of rupee five denomination to Chaman, so that the total amount with Akbar, which was twenty rupees. And Chaman, which was ten rupees, they become equal. So ten rupees and ten rupees when he is receiving, that becomes equal, right? Now, what will be the new total number of coins with Chaman? So initially it was five. So five plus two, that comes out to be seven. That we have already seen. So option C, yes, it is certainly the right answer. 
Moving to next question. Which of the following statements must be true? We need to get back to our table. It says number of rupee 5 coins with Birbal is same as the total number of rupee 5 coins with A and C. Okay. Achha, usne khud ne A and C bol diya. Dekho, imagine when A or C bol raha tha, Akbar Shaman <laughs> likh sakta tha. Anyway, so, 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 so the number of uh, rupee 5 coins with Birbal is same as the total number of 5 rupee coins with A and C. Okay, let's see. And by the way, achha, all of the above is also an option. Anyway, let's check this. So, number of 5 rupee coins ki hum baat kar rahe hai. So, B wala jo amount hai, that should be equal to A plus C. Let's see. Rupee 5 coins. So, B should be equal to a plus C. Yes, that's true. Right? B ke paas 4 coins hai and A and C ke paas 3 plus 1, 4 hai. That's true. By the way, let me uh, clear this uh, clutter here. So, that part was for the previous questions. It is not to be continued in the next questions. So, don't be confused by that. Okay. So, if for this question, we have seen that this first part is fine. That's true. The first statement is certainly true. So, first, second, third. You have this fourth question. So, first statement is true. Okay. What about second statement? Second statement says the number of rupee 2 coins with Akbar okay, is same as the total of number of rupee 2 coins with B and C. Okay, so it is talking about 2 rupee coins now. So, so A ka amount should be equal to B plus C, the number of coins you are talking about, right? So, let's check 2 rupee was wale coins uh, with A should be equal to uh, total of B and C. Let's see. Rupee is 2 coins, Akbar is equal to B plus C. That's true. Yes, 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. Yes, that's also true. It confirms now there is no need to check the third statement because we had a last option which says all of the above. Third statement must also be true. And I'm sure in that order, if you see here, this will be one coin. You can see that with Chaman, number of coins, uh, uh, three uh, rupee, one, don one denomination is equal to the number of coins of same de uh, denomination with A and B together, right? Let's verify that statement and answer it. We have already known. One, two, three, fourth question. The number of rupee, one coin with Chaman is same as a yes. Yes, you see, <laughs> we are able to judge the option as well. So clearly the answer is option D because all these statements are true, right? Moving to the last question of this set, it says if the total coins with all three persons put together are considered, what is the ratio of number of rupee 1 coin, 2 rupee coin and 5 rupee coin, okay? We just need to find that ratio. So simple question, we just need to add the number of coins of each denomination with all the three persons and then we'll be having the answer. So 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is 6. This is 2 plus 1, 3 and 1, 4. And this is 4 plus is 7 and 1, 8. So we want the ratio, so we need to write it in simplest form. So we can cancel out the common factor of 2. So that makes it 3 is to 2 is to 4. So 3 to 4, that should be the answer. Let's check the options. This is the last question. This is 3 to 4 is the first option. So certainly this is the right answer. That's it. Fine. Thank you very much.